Hello, I'm Otto Blum, the executive sushi chef at the Airy Restaurant at Snowbird Ski Resort. And today I'm going to bring you into the kitchen here at the Airy Sushi Bar and show you how we make sushi rice. First thing we want to do is measure out our rice. I use Calrose Nishiki brand premium grain sushi rice. It's a medium grain rice uh, that works really well for sushi. I'm going to cook a four quart batch today, so I'm going to take my four quart measuring container measure out an even four quarts. And I'm going to save this container later so we know how much water we could use that to add the water when we cook the rice. Okay, the next step is to rinse the rice. So I'm going to take the insert from my rice cooker, uh, put it in the sink. My strainer fits in there perfectly and the strainer's got some very small holes to prevent the kernels from falling through. I'm going to rinse them to cold water. This rinsing process will take about 20 minutes. I'm going to rinse it four times. Here we're coming to the end of the first rinse where the container is filled up with water. I'm stirring the rice with my hand. As I'm doing this, you can see all the starch that's being released from the rice, which is why the water is cloudy. Um, eventually, after three or four rinses in 20 minutes, that water should be running clear. You shouldn't be getting all that starch. So now I'm going to repeat this step another three times. Um, and it's a total of about 20 minutes of rinsing under cold water. Okay, 20 minutes later, four rinses, I removed the rice. Now shaking off any excess water that's in the rice. And then I'm going to let this rice air dry for about one hour before cooking the rice. Okay, hour went by, time to cook the rice. Four quarts of rice in the rice cooker. That's a rice net that is lined that rice cookers. Um, rice nets are really nice. Makes removing the rice when it's done cooking a snap, and it prevents all the any of the rice actually from sticking to the cooker. So I'm going to add my four quarts of water to my four quarts of rice. So we're cooking at a one to one ratio because the rice has absorbed some of the water, some water, and expanded during that whole rinsing process. So one to one doesn't seem like normally would use, but it works out perfect in this case. So I'm going to fold the knife back over, close her up, fire this, and cook it for 45 minutes. Okay, 45 minutes later, I'm removing the rice. There's my rice net. As you can see, I'm dumping it into a hungary, which is that wood, bam, wood bowl made out of bamboo. Hungary, since it is made out of bamboo, works perfectly at this stage since we're trying to cool this rice down as quickly as possible. Um, it's non-conductive. Now I'm pouring a seasoned rice wine vinegar over the top of the rice. Um, we make our own. It's rice wine vinegar, sugar, and salt that are dissolved into the vinegar for flavor. Um, you can find this at most oriental markets or even most grocery stores will sell it as uh, sushi rice vinegar or seasoned rice vinegar. Okay, so now I'm trying to, that rice vinegar, I'm trying to mix the rice up. I'm breaking up all, any clumps of rice, trying to do that as gently as possible. You don't really want to smash the rice. You just try, want to break up any of the clumps that are in there. Now I'm cutting the rice. As you can see, all the heat that's trapped underneath is being released there, all that steam. Um, I'm going to fold the rice over all the way onto one half. As I'm doing this, you can see all the steam and heat that's being released from that rice underneath. All along the way, I'm going to try to keep breaking up any little clumps that are there to prevent the rice from being clumpy. I'm going to fold it all over to one side, clean the hungary, wipe everything down with my damp towel, and then I'll cut the rice and fold it back over itself all the way onto the other side of the Hungary, which will release even more of the heat and steam that's underneath there. Then eventually, after about a half hour, I'll cut it all back down to one even level in the Hungary itself. You can see there I'm working it with that damp towel, just keeping everything nice and clean. Okay, now I'm cutting it back down for the final time keep the right, you know, all to one level in the Hungary. Again, breaking up any clumps along the way. Um, most people think that the rice is sticky because of the starch, but as I've 
showing you in the rinsing process, we want to remove that starch. Um, the reason why this rice now won't be sticky rice is actually the vinegar hopefully is coating every individual kernel in the in the Hungary there. You know, and the begin the vinegar with the sugar and salt is gonna be pretty sticky in itself. So that's it. Last step is to put it into our rice jar, get ready for service. Uh, the rice should be about uh, body temperature, 98 to 100 degrees is ideal for working with sushi rice. Okay, thanks for watching my video. Any questions or comments on the procedures I've used here, just uh, write me a comment. I'll make sure to respond to it. And please uh, subscribe to my channel. This is the first of many sushi instructional videos I will be posting over the course of this winter. Um, how to make rolls, how to break down fish, how to slice fish, basically anything you would ever need to know for making sushi, I'll, I'll be posting videos here. So please subscribe and uh, write me with any questions or comments. Thank you.